Topic 10.1, Class Notes, Part 2, Electric Fields. This is the second part of the Topic 10.1 Notes on Fields. I hope you're going to notice some strong parallels between this video on electric fields and our last video on gravitational fields. An electric field will cause a charge placed in the field to experience a force. The force per unit charge is called the electric field strength, E. This equation really defines electric field strength. If the charge is positive, then the direction of the force defines the direction of the electric field. The units of electric field strength are newtons per coulomb. We'll later see that electric field strength can also be measured in volts per meter. This equation allows us to predict the magnitude of the electric field created by a charge Q at a location in space that's a distance r away from the charge that's causing the field. To push two like charges toward each other requires work because they're repelling. To separate two opposite charges also requires work because they're attracting. If you do work to move one charge with respect to another charge, then you have stored potential energy in the field. This equation allows us to calculate the amount of electrical potential energy stored in the field between two charges, big Q and small q, when the charges are a distance r apart from one another. You already know something about electrical potential. Uh, you might recall that uh, electrical potential difference is often referred to as voltage. The electrical potential at a location in space is the work required to move a small positive test charge from infinity to the location of interest divided by the charge. In other words, the electrical potential at some location in space is the work per unit charge needed to move that charge from infinity to our location of interest. If we're moving the charge along the direction of the electric field, then the work will be negative. If we're moving the charge against the field, then the work will be positive. This equation allows us to predict the electric potential at a location that is a distance r from the charge big Q, which is creating the field. To move a charge from a location of low potential to a location of high potential requires that work be done. This equation allows us to calculate the amount of work needed to move a charge from one potential to another. If a positive charge is moved to a point of higher potential, the work done on the charge is positive. If a negative charge is moved to a point of higher potential, the work done on the charge is negative. If this is confusing, just remember that if the charge has to be pushed against the force of the field, then the work done on the charge will be positive. Conversely, if the charge moves in the direction that it wants to go with the field, then the work done on the charge is negative. Let me remind you again that electrical potential and electrical potential energy are different things. To calculate the electrical potential energy of a charge at some location in space, we multiply the charge by the electrical potential at that location. That's all, folks. Did you hear about the person who sent ten puns to his friends with the hope that at least one of the puns would make them laugh? No pun intended. <laughs>